Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this series of videos we are working on several different labs for AZ900 exam that is for Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification and this series of labs they are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning and I'm going to give you the link to this video uh, link to this uh, GitHub resource in my video. Now this is the sixth lab. We have already completed all five labs. If you search, uh, look at my playlist, you will find the other labs. In this particular one, we're going to implement the Azure IoT Hub. And uh, just like any other uh, labs, we're going to go to the Azure portal and we'll look for the IoT Hub resource and, and, and create an instance by clicking the Add button. So let's say, let's go to our Azure. I'm already signed in. Uh, just search for the IoT Hub and it showed up. So click on that, you will see an add button right there. Just click on it. It should give you a new blade or new pane for a specific configuration. So we have that. So let's come over here. How the way you use your own subscription, uh, I'm going to create a new resource group and I'm going to call it my. RG IoT, so my resource group IoT, so that's good. Um, what else do I need to configure? East US is my favorite, and IoT name. Uh, this has to be a unique name, so you put, you start maybe something like that, and then group. I'm gonna change it to ABASU. So we have that. Let's see if we need to configure the networking. Uh, move to size and scale and see pricing and scale tier standard tier so for this deployment we're going to use the standard tier so let's go to networking we're not going to modify anything we're going to choose a public endpoint in here standard tier is already selected s1 standard tier so we don't need to make any uh, changes number of s1 iot hub units any of that stuff uh, it has not uh, asked us to make any modifications either so you just create review and create button and that should give you an instance of the IoT hub. Okay, so it's usually go uh, for the validation real quick uh, and then just create. Okay, and you can see how the deployment is going on from this pane. Okay, it's, it's you see this nice little, you know, moving boxes in here or you can also see over there under the notification bar it will tell you that this, this deployment is under process it's going to be deployed under the my rg iot resource group and you see that uh, something has already been created uh, based on what you're deploying there might be multiple things that needs to be created for uh, one particular resource so let's go back um so next task is to add an IoT device. So let's uh, give it a second, let's pause the video. As soon as the deployment is done, we'll start working on the task too. All right, everyone, the deployment looks like it's done. It says deployment succeeded. And we can go to the resource by clicking this button right here. And this is gonna tell you that this is the name of the resource, my dash hub dash group ebasu. And what kind of resource is that? Is the IoT hub. That's a really nice feature. Plus you can also look at the uh, icon to tell what kind of device this is or what resource this is and usually when you go it lands you to the overview page so it will tell you the host name pricing tier number of hub units where it's deployed what's the subscription and uh, whether it's uh, status active or not so you have a lot of information over here so let's go back to the lab and let's see how to add an IoT device so this is our second task so uh, so we have done that to add a new IoT device scroll down to the explorer and click IoT device and then add new so we need to go down to the IoT devices so under explorer we have query explorer and IoT devices just click on the IoT device and it should give you the add button so new is really the button that you want to click new and we are going to configure it the way the lab wants us to do. So we're going to call it my Raspberry Pi. It's going to be the device ID. Okay, so, mm, so the name. I don't see the name. Do you see the name here? Uh, 
I didn't see the name. So here, so again, Microsoft sometimes changed this interfaces light a little bit. So I'm wondering if this is something new because this is directly giving me okay let's go back over here one more time and add a new clause add I think that's the only thing that I see that I have so I have to close click on this one and it's directly giving me the the device ID so it's not asking me to go through this step so for that one Provide the name for a new IoT devices and click save. This will create a new IoT device identity in your Azure IoT hub. So, should I just try that one out and just call it my Raspberry Pi and just say save? Well, I'm going to just try that and see what happens. So, it says my Raspberry Pi, this has been created okay let's click on it so let's see okay so device ID okay so that's probably what they were they wanted so just put not the device name so in that lab description is not very clear so provide a name it's not the name we provided the ID and ID is my Raspberry Pi and when I opened it this is my device ID is not the right thing it, 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 it showed up as my Raspberry Pi as the device ID. Okay, so now we have that. Uh, select Raspberry Pi and copy the primary connection string value. Okay, so here you see at the device ID, primary key, secondary key, primary connection string. So we're going to copy that, that value. Okay, copy. Copy. It's okay, I copied it multiple times. Hopefully, I have it and uh, you use this key in the next dash to authenticate a connection to the raspberry pi simulator so i don't have a raspberry pi right now running up and running so we're going to use a simulator for that and that's where the task three comes in uh, taste the device using the raspberry pi so in our web let's click and go to the online raspberry pi simulator read about raspberry pi simulator if there is an overview pop-up select x to close the window so here so this is the overview okay the, you have the assembly area coding area then prepare as your iot hub and get the device connect connection string you have uh, some information in here uh, so this is what we have raspberry pi as your iot online simulator that's real nice so what we're going to do in this code area right side located uh, look at the line with constant connection string and replace it with the connection string you copied from Azure portal so let's see so basically the connection string that we have copied needs to go right in here come on so right in here so let's do this so get rid of the content here and uh, oh, oh there we go so we got it and then let's come back to the lab um, note that the connection string includes the device ID and the shared access key entries so if you look at it uh, we have the host name we have the device ID which is the my raspberry pi that's the ID that we provided and it has a shared access key the SAS so to uh, that we are providing to the connection string all right so we're good up to that point now click run below to run that application so let's do that so click run so the application must be running right now it's doing some stuff and it's getting some 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 information back and we're gonna see what's going on it looks like the tiny little bug that I have it's now flashing okay so let's go back uh, run the console output should show the sensor data and messages that are sent from the Raspberry Pi simulator to, to your Azure IoT hub. 
data and messages are sent each time the Raspberry Pi simulate, simulator LED flashes. Okay, so every time this is flashing, the data is being transmitted back to the IoT hub. Okay, now click stop to stop sending the data. So over here, I have the stop right here. So uh, in place of run, now you see the stop. So I'm going to stop that simulation. So it has stopped. So it says sample stopped. So uh, we have done that step. Return to Azure portal and Azure IoT Hub. Switch to the IoT overview blade and scroll down to the IoT Hub usage information. So let's come over here. Go back to our IoT Hub overview and then we want to go to the usage. Uh, let's see. Usage, usage. So No, usage is, uh, I was hoping that there will be a blade just called usage, but I didn't see that. Okay, there is, that is what I need to sort, IoT hub usage, so let's, let's search for exactly that, IoT hub usage, that's still, I don't have anything here. Uh, so that must be changed, so let's see what, how can we get to that one. Uh, so overview. Oh, they're actually probably see. <laughs> maybe we're trying to think too much. So over here, this is they're saying the IoT Hub usage. Okay, all right. So and so, what do you want to do? I can click on it. Maybe let's see if it's clickable. It didn't do anything. No. So it's just saying messages twenty six. Uh, you have a limit, four hundred thousand daily. Uh, device twin operation is told what's what went. Uh, uh, in a in a graphical format for the over the last six six hours and uh, device to cloud messages that also you it's giving you uh, details what happened last so you can change this to last one hour that's gonna tell you when was the peak and when how it's going down uh, so that's pretty much all it's uh, it has asked us to look at and yeah like similar graph it's also showing over here right so pretty much that's all uh, we needed to do so in this lab what we have done we have created uh, IOT resource okay we created the IOT resource or IOT hub and then we we added an IOT device that was pretty simple you can pretty much name it or, or ID it anything and it's gonna give you uh, a primary connection string how that device should be talking to you then on that as you, on the Raspberry Pi simulator we provided the ca uh, connection string which got my uh, subscription details like the ID and the SAS signature that can be used to log and uh, log in and access the service once that's done we ran an application to light up the LED and we've verified that every time the LED is flashing, a data is being transmitted back and forth between the device and the IoT hub. So that's the end of the video. If you are studying for the exam uh, as your security fundam or as your fundamentals, then yeah, good luck. If you like the video, please give me a like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. Thank you.